one of the prevailing themes in the book was talking about finding happiness. Right. You know, wh where did you find happiness? And, and, and just talked about uh, um, the disappointment. He says, I knew that without, uh, without asking that mom would never, I'm sorry, I knew without asking that mom would never take me to a doctor to get stitches no matter how bad my coat was. We talked about that. From that point I knew I could not count on pain or disappointment to be a big part of my life. Happiness became a fairy tale, a unicorn that did not exist. It was something I decided to stop chasing when I was 10 years old, leaving me to live uh, cold and alone within my mind. I watched the world from a place that was mine alone, a place unreachable by those who thought they knew me. Um, that's pretty tough stuff. Right. And it seemed like this illusion of happiness was always just a little bit outside your grasp. Did you ever find it? Is there any resolution here? Is there any you know? uh, Sure. Well, I think I'm I think I'm pretty happy now, but you know, especially based on some of the curveballs that have been thrown me in life and certainly well, anyone that can like kids, uh, land on your neck be paralyzed <laughs> and come away you know with I think a, I was cracking jokes you know like uh, I don't want to you know get me up on the beach and then drown because a wave comes in so yeah why don't you guys take me up a little bit we'll worry about the back later but yeah yeah you know um, I think it, it, just the amount of kids that I have uh, it, it I don't take myself as seriously I think that at that time there was a lot of stuff going on, and uh -huh. the, the things that uh, um, that I really liked are the things that I still like, which don't really cost any money, which is reading and writing. Yeah. Uh, it gives me happiness, and you know, just just talking to my to my children. I actually enjoy that. I'm not sure if a lot of people enjoy that more than doing stuff, but I really enjoy talking to them.